Stop by. You can go inside and see what life was like for Henry growing up here as a young boy. Cycle Shop, Right Home, Ford Motor Company, Mary Collins Bell Dairy, our 1913 Herschel's Building Carousel, and our frozen custard ice cream stand. Edison's Laboratory in New Jersey. He's credited with over 1,000 patents for this facility. You're welcome to stop by, stroll the grounds, and even go inside. You can check out his incandescent light bulb. Now, if you can look to your left across the street, the other building is the Sarah Jordan Boarding House. This is where all the single young men that worked for Edison would stay and live, and was one of the first few buildings Edison had electrified. We're now approaching the Eckley Bridge. This is our from Susquehanna Station, you can walk the hill into Noah Webster's home. He is credited with giving us our first American dictionary that took over 25 years to complete. Or you can stroll down Maple Lane and visit all the homes we have here in the village. You can even go into our Susquehanna plantation, which comes from Tidewater, Maryland, originally comprised of 700 acres, and in 1838, their principal crops were corn and tobacco. You can even go to the end of Maple Lane, visit our windmill, and our colonial Davis farmhouse. As we come into Susquehanna, we can all say hi to Pat, station master here, and I ask everybody to please remain seated until we come to a complete stop. Once the whistle sounds, it will be safe to exit on the left-hand side. Please, wait for that whistle. Across the road, the Cotswold Cottage and the outlying buildings come from the Gloucestershire area of England, uh, here at Oxford. Uh, the um, cottage is over 400 years old. Henry and Clara Ford love the vacation in that area. Clara fell in love with the cottage. Henry looks to the cottage upon the new dog here. They're lost out of being a beautiful little house. 
The window up ahead comes from Cape Cod. It was built during the mid-1660s and used to grind corn. It was also a gift from the Ford dealership on Cape Cod. They got together before Greenfield Village opened, purchased that window, had it reconstructed here in time for our opening in October of 1929. The window was one of the original 28 buildings that were on site and open for business in October of 1929.
Railroad Junction District that will soon be stopping at Smith Street Depot. I feel you located here that the craft works and carousel and Main Street activities. You are still walking around the house and depot from the platform here. And the restaurant and mention the case of history is just behind us. If anyone needs additional directions, please stop me on the platform here. I can have to help you. In the meantime, if you're leaving us, make sure you have all your belongings. So I'll show you that cell phone. Your wristband, your ticket, I know we'll get you back on the train all day. Once again, folks, remain seated until we come from a point stop. Say goodbye to Mike, Jeff, and Conductor Jim here at Smith Creek. We now begin our journey to the front at Firestone Station. If you ever have a chance, stop by our Smith Creek train depot, built in 1858 by Grand Trunk Railroad. First stop on its way from Port Huron down to Detroit. Even though it was only eight miles from Port Huron, it was in the countryside. So the station master and family were allowed to live at the depot and conduct railroad operations. On the right, you'll see a collection of boxcars that were used to transport merchandise across the United States. Approaching our Detroit Toledo Milwaukee Roundhouse. This comes from Marshall, Michigan, built in 1884 to service and maintain steam locomotives. We carry on that tradition today as a working roundhouse with the three coal fired locomotives and diesel electric that we operate here during the season. Right now they have our 1897 Baldwin parked out in front. They were replacing the covers on both the sand and steam domes. Just past the roundhouse, you'll see the backside of Liberty Craftwork and our sawmill. It is now safe to exit on the right hand side. 